is as sukata since you say it's all about pragmatism we are not living in the 90s age of coalition politics but there's one thing that comes with coalition politics it's tough to keep people loyal uh people have histories people have long memories nitish kumar may have flipped for whatever reason but he's never had a great equation with narendra modi chandra babu naidu has felt a great sense of personal injury in the past with modi right um and and and, and i'm sure the bjp has their own histories with all of these people my point is does do politicians forget all of that do they just bury it or do they strike when they want to when it's convenient to them yeah that's a very interesting question burka but i agree with tavleen ji that it is a power game is an entirely different thing and it's not ideology or idealism based and i don't think uh, you know i mean uh, see when we are talk when we talk about nitish you also have to remember that they need the support of the bjp back in bihar to keep the state government going so there is a kind of give and take and uh, and as i mentioned to you earlier both naidu and nitish are no longer in their 50s or 60s and they're all you know i mean uh, looking at the sunset and they need to sort of transfer their legacies and especially naidu you know he has to transfer the the whole thing to his son and ensure that the things things are stable there he has to run a state government so there are lots of other issues there so i don't think that uh, they will all start bickering right away especially because the bjp's number is 240 and see just a couple of months ago we thought the biggest strength of the modi shah uh, regime was that it could sort of you know break alliances make you know and break parties the skull degree you know that we associated with them was also a power association with them and i think you know you can't take a small ethical line or ethical principle platform in politics and expect them to be successful i think there will be a lot of calculations happening but all that i'm trying to say is that they will not upset the apple cart now because the india alliance i know how much they insulted nitish they put up posters when he came to bangalore it was the congress government there and you know they they did not even allow devagowda into the india alliance nitish was had to cut a very sorry figure because nitish was dealing with devagowda primarily in 2022 see lots of there are there are memories and there are memories what memory do you pick to sort of fight against modi there is there are equal number of issues with rahul gandhi or with sonia gandhi or with somebody else so i think modi they will see modi as a far more pragmatic politician if i understand modi correctly and modi barka the other point you know something that i spoke to you in a, in one of your earlier shows see modi is also free of rss in a way today because right bang in the middle sorry I sorry I, i i said i'm not sure of that after this verdict no no and no, no, I, i think tabli i think tabli is also no, wanting no, to come no, in no, I, 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 one, what i'm trying one to minute, say everything has changed now <laughs> not any no 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 but no, what i'm saying is he's freer of rss in the sense the 240 seats that he has is his you know he may be short of 30 and all the ideological aspects that we are discussing have all been implemented 370 has been implemented ram temple has been built and then you know uh, you know, the the uh caa and uh, has been implemented so the larger things have been done the no, uniform silver code remains so i okay. think ideological things have been handled in first 10 years and i don't and modi is not going to be constrained by the rss anymore because we don't know what see the whole election manisha ji was talking about economic issues and etc etc but we still don't know the details of this election because we don't know what happened in gujarat what role did yogi play what role did the rss play and modi may end up serving a dish called revenge on a cold plate so you know i mean i i, I don't think you have underestimated him on or, 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 or 246 yeah. no nobody's underestimating him but it could work both ways i let tavleen come in the rs there are enough people in the bjp who also want to serve something called revenge on a on a dish to modi right so it's They've really power play why do you say that, that? so you so you believe you you believe modi has been sabotaged from within i think so 